Hello, I'm Kimberly from Aurora Middle School, and today we will be talking about hands-on equations. I think that's what they're called. Now, first we're going to talk about what each pawn, or cube, represents. White pawns equal the opposite of x, whereas white pawns, blue pawns, equal x. The cubes are always constants, so a red 5 would be a positive 5, and it will always be a positive. A green cube is negative, so a green 5 will always be a negative. Now, the first question, probable. Problem we're going to be doing is x plus 10 equals 3x plus 2. Here, we have x plus 10. This right between the scale would be the equal sign is 3x plus 2. Now, the first thing we want to do is get rid of the smaller number. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a negative 2 to both sides, making this a positive 0 and this an 8. Next, we're going to take a blue pawn off of each side. This is a legal move because we're not changing the balance. And the answer is 2x equals 8, which means that 1x equals positive 4. And the next problem we're going to be doing is negative 10x equals the opposite of 3. Notice I said opposite of 3, not negative x plus 2. Here, the first thing we're going to do is get rid of the smaller constant. So, we're going to add two negative 2's. This is a pair of zeros, so we're not changing the scale. Make sure it's legal. And this equals 12. Negative 12 now. Next, we're going to get rid of this lonely little blue guy. Again, so that we are keeping the legal moves in and not changing or tipping the scale, we're going to add two white pawns at the same time. And since this equals a pair of zero, we can take those out. So now it's 12 equals the opposite of 4x. So now we'll divide 12 by 4 and get 3. So 3x. X equals, three. X equals 3. And for our final problem, we will be doing 5 plus x plus the opposite of 3x equals 3x plus the opposite of 2x plus 1. And by the way, guys, I teleported. So if you're wondering why it's a different background, it's because I teleported. Now let's solve it. The first thing we're going to do is take out the pairs of zero. This does not change the scale, remember, it's a legal move. So this is a pair of zero, this is a pair of zero, and this is a pair of zero. Next we're going to try and get rid of this one. So we're going to add a positive one to both sides. This equals a pair of zero, and this gets turned into a 6. We're going to try and get rid of these two opposite of x's. So let's add 2, make a pair of 0, and another 2. Sorry. Make a pair of 0. So now we have 6 equals 3x or 3x equals 6. If we divide 3x by 3, then we get x. And if we divide 6 by 3, we get 2. So now we know that x equals 2.